Are you a boy? Or a man? There are brutal realities when it comes to evolving into a man. And age has nothing to do with it. It is hard to transition from a boy to a man. But modern society makes it even harder. Modern society tries to feminize boys from an early age. Perhaps you too have been brainwashed by society and there are man-children as a direct result of that. Maybe you even bought into the idea that men should be more feminine and that masculinity is toxic. Think about it. Since you were a little boy, you have been told that your masculine qualities are inherently bad. Most, if not all, of your teachers were women. And if you didn't behave like the girls in class, that meant you were bad. As a boy, if you are competitive, seek challenges, and have a lot of energy, you are shamed and scolded for it. At the same time, in order for a man to be a conqueror, a provider, and a protector, these traits are absolutely necessary. If you have been suppressing your natural desires since you can remember, the road to undoing the brainwashing will not be easy, but it will be worth it. More videos on this will be made in the future. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss them. Now, even if you don't fall for society's lies, it's still not enough to change you from a boy to a man. Girls become women by reaching physical maturity, but boys have to pass a test. After all, men carry the burden of performance. If you don't perform in any area of your life, as a man, the world will treat you as a worthless, inferior man. A woman can be beautiful, and the world will treat her like a diamond, because there is value in her beauty. For a man, that is not the case. You have to work and create your own value. That is the ruthless reality. But you should see this as a good thing. It means that no matter who you are, you can build yourself up to be a high-value man. Take note of the men you truly respect in your life. What makes you respect them? Problem-solving skills, the ability to face adversity, provisioning, courage, strength, discipline, or leadership. Whatever makes you respect them as men has nothing to do with age. Let's discuss four critical things that make boys into men. Number one. Responsibility. Boys like to do what they want or feel like doing, and often blame other people for the outcome of their lives. Instead of taking responsibility, they complain about problems and see themselves as victims in situations. Men, on the other hand, understand that there is always some responsibility to take. Even when another person does wrong to you, there is still some ownership to take. For example, you may have chosen to ignore red flags, Nine times out of ten in life, we are not victims of circumstances. We are victims of our own minds. By accepting your responsibility, you take charge of your problems and you take charge of your life. We are where we are in life not because of other people, but because of ourselves. For Muslim men, responsibility is not a burden. It's an opportunity to show character. Taking responsibility with integrity and justice leads to fulfilling our purpose in the eyes of Allah. Number two, doing instead of talking. We've all known the friend who took the big game, always bragging about his accomplishments, how much money he's made, and his fighting skills. This guy had some nice stories to go along with the bragging, but in the end, it was all talk. Becoming a desirable man, becoming financially free, or becoming a good fighter takes work. Boys pick the easy way to try and achieve the status they want, and they do so by bragging. This status is not real, and any real situation will always expose that. Men know that talk is cheap, and that actions speak louder than words. They know when to keep their mouths shut, know when to put your head down and work in silence without uttering a single complaint. Men focus on doing, not talking. Remember, in the eyes of Allah, it's the integrity of your actions that truly defines your character and purpose. Number three, stop playing video games and stop fapping. This is a tough one for many of you. Video games can be great, but you have to be aware that they are created purely from your inner desires as a man. Why do you think an absurd amount of boys and men are addicted to video games? Challenge, competition, status, conquest, 
The very basis of every selling video game is to play to man's human nature and desires. These achievements are false, and when you lose yourself in video games, you dampen your ambition and vitality in the real world. Another way to lose yourself in a false reality is fapping to online content. Fake conquest. What you are watching are other people. You haven't approached the opposite sex, and you aren't performing the act yourself. Be aware of this and the fact that many men end up with erectile dysfunction as a side effect. We all know what the religious view on addiction is, and I have already made a special video on how to quit any addiction you may have. I encourage you to watch it carefully to the end. Link is in the description. Number 4. Control Your Emotions Boys often do what they feel like doing. Men do what they have to do, whether they feel like it or not. We live in a society that tries very hard to make men like women. Society often tells boys and men to express their feelings, listen to their feelings, and open up. The phrase toughen up or be a man is seen as toxic, but this is where things take a dark turn. Men and women often express their feelings in different ways. If you tell a woman to open up and stop suppressing her feelings, she will talk about her feelings and may cry. If you tell men to stop suppressing their emotions and listen to their feelings, they could become very violent. They might attack someone during a road rage incident because they are listening to their feelings instead of controlling them. Emotional control is one of the basic pillars of masculinity. Fathers enforce discipline and order in the home, but the divorce rate is increasing every year. With fatherlessness on the rise and society encouraging boys to just listen to their feelings, bad things can happen very quickly. This does not mean that as a man you should keep everything inside. If there is a serious problem, you may need to talk to your brothers or friends. Maybe you need to get it out in the gym. First of all, you have to detach yourself from the situation and look at it objectively. More often than not, things are not as big a deal as we make them out to be. The best men you will ever meet are in control of their emotions. Emotions are not bad. Emotions used badly are bad. A lot of guys started going to the gym and built a fantastic strong physique because they were angry. Many of them used to be bullied in school. This is an excellent example of controlling emotions and using them in a productive way. With this knowledge in mind, you will be shocked at how much potential you really have as a man. In Islam, the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, is an excellent example for human beings of emotional self-control. He showed exceptional patience, compassion, and resilience in the face of hardships. A Muslim man, inspired by the Prophet's noble character, aims to control his emotions and seek wisdom in difficult moments. By emulating the Prophet's behavior, he not only promotes his own emotional well-being, he also embodies the qualities encouraged in Islam. By the way, if you want to level up in life, show some love and hit the like and subscribe buttons. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Assalamu alaikum.